Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Mr. Jeff Pestridge, welcome to another P3D video. Uh, has this ever happened to you? You're flying your plane, everything's fine, uh, probably over the Atlantic or a body of water, and suddenly your simulator just goes bye-bye, and uh, it crashes, and when you look at the event viewer, it says something about a terrain, terrain DLL error. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So when you bring up the event viewer here, you can look under Windows Logs Applications, you'll have a, an error here, it'll say Terrain DLL. Uh, so there's a few reasons why this can happen, and um, one of them is very painstaking, because if it was an add-on that caused this issue, uh, you have to figure out which one by very sort of painstakingly reducing getting rid of all your add-ons and then one by one putting it in until it happens again that can be a lengthy process first thing i'd recommend doing is running a uh, command prompt as an admin and checking to make sure that there's no problems with system files so if you run sfc space forward slash scan now this will check all windows uh, files and if there is a corrupted or errored one it will uh, fix it for you. Um, this scan should only take three minutes. If it takes longer, then your CPU might not be up to the job of flight sim. So you might need to look into that. So it's also a good metric for how good, your, how fast your CPU is. So um, when this completes, it will either say that it hasn't found any error files or it has, and then it's fixed them. So here, uh, Windows didn't find any problems with it. So basically, what the terrain, terrain DLL error is, is it's a module of uh, prepared, um, a dynamic link library, uh, basically the scenery loader. And it can happen, it can basically cause the crash of the entire sim if this DLL itself is corrupted. Um, or it can be after flying over a body of water for a long period of time if you've got no more CP uh, sorry PC resources available at the time the scenery loader needs to kick in then it can also crash out um, not meaning that there's a problem with the DLL here but that your resources just weren't available on your PC at the time it was trying to call to load into the sim a load of scenery um, it could be also a rogue add-on. Um, so the, basically, it's a, it, it's a case of limiting what can cause it for future use. Um, because it'll be very hard to ascertain exactly what, which problem uh, is, is which, which thing is causing the problem here. So first thing to do, I would say, is go into your P3D uh, root folder... Um, where all your, you know, files are and that, and just delete this terrain DLL file. Once you've done that, you want to load up um, into program features, go find your P3D um, packages, and then run a repair on the content and scenery. And that will refresh this file. So if it is this file that got corrupted, you'll put a new one in and replace the old one. Um... Also, another thing you can do um, is also run a repair on any .NET or any .NET uh, runtime in on your PC. Um, so if you go to the M's, you see here we've got .NET runtime 5 and 6. Um, there's also an SDK I could run here. Um, it's easy. Just click on it, click change, and repair, and then it will... Well, sometimes it will ask you to go find it on your PC... Um, so you'd have to download it, but most of the time it will just run it from there. Luckily, I've got a backup. And run the repair and let it fix itself. Um, do that for all your runtimes, um, as well as the Windows uh, desktop runtime as well. Um, once you've done that, restart your PC.
Once you've uh, successfully repaired all your run times, restart your PC, rerun the flight to see if that same error occurs at the same spot. If it does, it's then going to be an add-on. And this is where it gets painful because you have to remove all your add-ons from that area and then load in one at a time each add-on, rerun the flight, see if it errors. If it doesn't, add another add-on, rerun the flight and see if it errors and keep going until you hit that error and the last add-on that you put in is the problem and once you've isolated if it is an add-on you can then have a look at that airport or whatever scenery item is causing the terrain dll error and see why you know maybe there's a fix on the developer's website uh, maybe it's a case of a file that needs converting me you know, p3d can't read it or load it into the sim because maybe there's some elevation data within the airport problem you know uh, at least you can you figure out why but one of these steps will fix that error and will fix it now dll's can get corrupted all the time on your pc just by sitting on your hard drive so don't think this is a fix forever it's just a fix uh for now because a windows update can actually corrupt files um or they can just be corrupted over time anyway so unfortunately this isn't a 100 percent cure forever it's a cure for now you know plus you know you could have other issues in your sim in other locations of the world that still would trip this same issue up and until you fly that route you will never know but it will fix it for now one of these will anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget i run a giveaway every month give away 50 euros of sim market vouchers for flight sim to be in with a chance all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and put a comment down in any one of my p3d videos and at the end of every single month i go live with a vlog to announce the winner take care and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye